discuss about collaboration between latin innovation mission and automotive research association of india we are joined today today by mr ramanand ramnathan direct uh, mission director at the innovation mission uh, dr rajiv mathai director ari uh, mr nv marathi a senior deputy director uh, mr nb dandwe and mrs sujula kande uh, we'll be discussing about the collaboration that has been discussed and formulated between uh, aim and ari and i'll hand over to mr ramanand ramnathan director at the innovation mission and automotive research association of india a joint yeah hello yeah good afternoon to everybody uh, who have uh, logged on today um, from uh, all the atal incubator ceos um, all the startups who have joined uh, the mentors of change who are playing a very instrumental part in um, uh, all the atal innovation mission initiatives um, my dear uh, friends from uh, and partners who have been assisting us Uh, from the universities from the private sector from the ngos uh, as well as uh, all the other beneficiaries of atal innovation mission who have logged on including the atal new india challenge winners or the acic uh, winners um we are indeed privileged and we feel very proud that we are ending the year on a very exciting note of a collaborative partnership with arai uh, a very prestigious organization an organization that is dealing with a very important uh, set of uh, issues and challenges and opportunities that not only we as a country have but also the world has in terms of bringing in the benefits of modern technology for safety in transport uh, for environmental uh, considerations uh, in our uh, mobility industry as well as in a whole lot of other initiatives uh, associated with the transportation industry and it is indeed a pleasure and privilege for me to be able to um have this distinguished panel of people including dr raji mathai who is the director of arai um and the others uh, who are joined the panel dr marathi and the others uh, to be part of this um collaborative initiative that we have uh, we are announcing today uh, more importantly uh, i would like every one of you who have logged on uh, to the call i want to first of all thank you for a tremendous um partnership with atal innovation mission in all our initiatives ranging from the atal tinkering labs that we have launched across the country thousands of atal tinkering labs uh, i am very proud to share that the aim team has been able to operationalize 7000 plus atal tinkering labs as of today uh, from the 10000 who have been selected uh, that's indeed a wonderful achievement to close on during the uh, end of the year uh we also have 70 operational uh, incubators and uh, uh we have selected 24 atal community innovation centers so close to about 100 innovation centers including the incubation centers are being are operationalized or are being operationalized some of the community innovation centers are yet to be operationalized but they have all been selected and they are just awaiting uh, the operationalization and uh, we have more than 1600 startups uh that have been set up through the atal innovation mission today um fostering uh, over 500 women led startups so that's also a very uh, heartening thing uh, because one of the big thrusts of atal innovation mission is to ensure that the benefits of innovation and entrepreneurship are of an inclusive nature not just uh, focused on tier 1 cities but also to the tier 2 tier 3 cities to rural india uh, to all the women Uh, and girl children uh, in our schools and the women in our universities and in the industry to be able to give them all the possible opportunities to spur india into innovation entrepreneurship and into progressive development of our country and therefore uh, all of the people who have been instrumental in building up this innovation ecosystem what we are trying to do is a create a culture of innovation across the country uh, creating a problem solving innovative mindset in our young students at schools at universities as well as those joining the industry and secondly provide an ecosystem of entrepreneurship that is going to enable them to create solutions and provide opportunities for startups uh, to be created and become successful what india needs and what india is capable of is world class innovation and we need therefore world class incubators world class startups world class innovators and in this innovation journey everybody has to join in 
it cannot be just the work of government or it cannot be just the work of private sector uh, it has to be a combination of various stakeholders in the system uh, who are walking together in this innovation journey to make this happen and that is why we are extremely thrilled to have um, arai uh, a very reputable institution uh, to be partnering along with atal innovation mission in this journey uh, because as all of you know mobility transportation electric mobility uh, sustainable development goals that the honorable prime minister has been talking about and the importance of the pillar of infrastructure which needs to be strengthened and the pillar of infrastructure is inclusive of not only small towns cities the 650000 plus villages that we have but the roadways the tollways the airways the airports uh, the other infrastructure which enables communication uh, between various towns and various cities and various villages possible and the digital infrastructure which is also very important uh, when we are talking of the last mile and the ability to reach across to different parts of the world so all of these uh, have been possible during the year because of great partnerships that we have been able to uh, cultivate and whose value addition on a daily basis is felt by our beneficiaries so with that um i want to once again uh, thank dr raji mathai director of arai uh, who has joined us for this particular discussion before joining arai dr mathai was working as the chief general manager at the indian oil corporation iocl he has been associated with iocl for over 28 years and is known to have contributed immensely in the field of engine and vehicle testing emission studies alternative fuels amb ambient air quality bs6 and beyond dr mathai holds a b in mechanical engineering from shri govind ram sekseria institute of technology and science sgsits indore in madhya pradesh and he also has an mtech from indian institute of technology varanasi bhu he holds a management degree in 3tp from the indian institute of management ahmedabad and a phd in alternative fuels from iit delhi uh, dr mathai is the recipient of the petrodit award for developing lubricant for marine engines in 2006 and 7 and has several publications at national and international forums and many patents to his credit so thank you dr mathai for joining us on this um we would like to hear from you and your team uh, your views and your insights and how this partnership with atal innovation mission and in general ar ai's role in being able to spur innovation entrepreneurship in emerging technologies for the benefit of the automotive and the transportation and the electric uh, mobility industry so uh, we would be very happy for you to share your thoughts on this particular occasion yeah uh, thank you mr ramnath and, and thank you for the introduction means i was really surprised pleasantly surprised uh, and it's really a privilege to be associated with uh, the atal innovation mission uh, my colleague mr marathe had signed that agreement last month and we have started that journey and in somehow it aligned with us when the dhi also gave us some responsibility to take up the startup activities as technovu uh my other colleague mr dande who looks after the technology aspect is here with me and ujwala will be making a brief presentation on what we are looking ahead for and what are our capabilities as such but taking forward what i would like to say is we all know that the automotive sector is a key ingredient for india's growth there is no second thought about that around 7% of gdp comes from the automotive sector ARI has been a big partner in that growth i can clearly say that uh starting from a certifying and regulatory body because we know what is the safe way the best way to bring the technology to the masses we have been now providing solutions and trying to bring out diverse ways in which we can address so that indigenization and atmanirbhar bharat those aspects can be taken care of and here is where we look to collaborations in a big way we know that we alone are not uh, there there are people who are interested 
There are people who have got a lot of ideas. And what we can do is we can channelize them because we know what is the regulation and what is how it has to be brought out in the final end product. Uh, we get a lot of suggestions each day through mails from young minds, and I'm really happy. I keep encouraging them. I tell that this is good, but please look into little more details and try to work out in this way. And I think this forum is given as a structured way where incubators, startups, ideas that are coming from various people can be really put into a better manner so that we can get solutions, which is apt for the industry. Industry is looking for various solutions. I think Ujwala will be presenting some of the areas that are we are looking into, what are our concern areas and all. But as time unfolds and as we look ahead further, we are looking where we will be providing the needed mentorship. Uh, I have uh, discussed internally and we have decided that the problems we identify, we, we will provide one person associated with those problems so that he can be a person. It is not that they do all the work and then come at the end of the day and then we find that it is not feasible. No. So in the journey itself, we will start working along with them and try to bring in a good solution. And that is how we are thinking of this whole model. And that is where I think this togetherness this mission together will really work wonders for us also and for the country also. Looking forward in a big way for this and thank you for this platform and thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mathai. And indeed, you captured beautifully the purpose of this relationship and why we are having this partnership. Uh, there is a great opportunity in India for the automotive technology. In fact, uh, the the uh, we have, as, as I understand, you know, we are very much lower in the percentage of people per thousand uh, that have cars and that have uh, mobile, um, you know, platform or mobile uh, uh, cars or transportation available. Uh, and uh, this is a number which is going to change with the growing economy for country, uh, with our GDP rising, uh, with our MSME industry getting a boost, with our automotive industries getting a boost, and with new technologies, sensor technologies, and electronic technologies, and electric mobility. It's going to spur a lot of development. Uh, there is already a lot of research on battery technologies which is happening. Uh, there is a lot of research on how uh, electronics can be further integrated uh, through sensor technologies and IoTs, as well as um, uh, 5G, wireless, and so on. So there is a tremendous opportunity for startups uh, to be very innovative and capture the opportunity in these areas. Uh, it also goes for two wheelers and three wheelers and so on. You know, it is not just limited to uh, just the four wheeler market. And uh, we are very keen that the ARAI and you have been very generous in saying that you will have points of contact who will be walking with us during the startup journey, which is very important. You know, very often many of the startups have this problem that they go assuming that a particular um, uh, solution will work in the market. Uh, they don't get the benefit of uh, regulatory hurdles or other uh, hurdles that are potentially there in the marketplace. But if you are able to walk the journey along with them, then that eases their path and that makes their market, their product uh, become available in the market at a very, very fast rate. So thank you so much for that opportunity. And um, we are indeed uh, delighted You know that, that you and your team are bringing this sort of commitment to the table. So we'd be very happy to have uh, uh, the presentation on ARAI and, and how, and Dr. Marathe, um, if you have any anything to share, uh, you have been instrumental in putting this uh, SOI together and I thank you so much for it. Thank you very much, I, think I should be very brief. Uh, this aim of a partnership is certainly to be a partner in this uh, journey of a country to make India as a, as, a, as a big platform for the innovation. But one thing that we should be careful that the uh, seeds of the innovation should not remain underground mm -hmm. and it should see the commercialization at one point of time. And I think in that direction, both the sides should work along with uh, uh, the objective of bringing up the uh, brains up from startups, students, and various such uh, domain expertise. All the best, all the best wishes to AIM and ARI collaboration. Good evening. Uh, 
myself kuch bola kar le audible am i audible and the presentation is visible i believe himanshu and i am team yes ma'am we can see your presentation and we can hear you thank you so much uh, so i will try to be very brief and crisp about it i think uh, i would thank everyone for giving the excellent opening remarks so that my efforts are minimized what i am trying to tell here is how ari can work together for empowering and enablement of smart safe and sustainable mobility solutions which will be working for the indian use cases by themselves so giving a bit of overview of arai uh, i think uh, we have a 50 plus years of experience we are affiliated to ministry of heavy industry public sectors uh, the strength has been uh, we have been equipped with comprehensive state of art facilities we strength them and we have over 50 years the expert and expertise manpower uh, to support that so just to uh, take it further as we have been seeing a premier testing and research organization with uh, experience expert uh, human resources and state of art laboratories what we offer is integrated r&d services uh, to product development and solution development uh, where in we support a lot of the automotive industry currently and we are in uh, increasing the whole domain and uh, portfolio to the startups the msmes where they has to come up with the solutions to uh, to give the provide the solutions to the indian use cases by themselves this uh, another the last very important part is uh, Uh, we can translate uh, all aspirations or the knowledge of the common requirements into the uh, engineering scripts and by translating we can create in the test methodologies test requirements specifications and then we know how to uh, really test and validate and feasibility of that all that uh, expertise experience and the tools that we are going to get onto the board just to show on the integrated service that what it means is we of course do testing validation certification but we partner in product development uh, to support that we have ari academy uh, which not only takes the courses uh, gives the trainings but also runs the proficiency improvement programs and have a great knowledge repository uh, the whole uh, beneficiary beneficiaries of startups and msmes would have the access to Uh, all these parts of uh, post our engagements uh, we also work on the technology development i'll go more in detail later uh, just to ensure what i'm uh, trying to say is we uh, partner from concept to uh, pre product development and certification and validation at each stage or any stage in each domain or any domain starting from uh, structures electronics nvh power train take any name of the automotive domain uh, we can support uh, we also support the cross cross domain applications there uh, so in nutshell what we are bringing on to the table is empowerment empowerment for smart safe sustainable mobility solutions through our expertise experience and equipment for indian mobility cac which are indigenous solutions what is cac i'll come up in uh, next slides so coming to collaboration highlights uh, what it is for ai and ari strengthening india's innovation ecosystem what we are offering is providing guidance and mentoring support uh, of course that is what we have been saying director ari has also uh, committed for that importantly deriving the quality gains requirement of specific requirement specification for new technologies something new comes up what should be the quality gains what should be the specification whether it will go to market whether what is the challenges which we have to and then assess it and uh, work on the pilot deployment of the solutions and as we have the tools we will have access to the tools facilities test labs and mentors and experts which we have and we will also support for a product verification validation certification which we have been doing to all of uh, the incubators and the startups associated with them uh, we will also work with you all uh, for identifying the problem statements assisting in assessment of the technology in the field of mobility and we will jointly work to push the innovative ideas and concept in the field of mobility so that enabling joint research projects and technology developments for import subsidies 
Uh, so we are uh, going to run this through our web-based platform that we have recently launched under the aegis of our parent ministry, Department of Heavy Industry, called Technovus. As it says, it is technology and innovation together by synergizing both of them. How can we build Atma Nirbhar Bharat? Just to uh, uh, just to summarize the focus area, we are uh, really saying is mobility. Mobility uh, is for India, which is C A S E connected and shared. A is affordable, which is connected to masses, which is safe. I think uh, Ramanan sir also uh, mentioned about safety requirement, and the last is environment friendly and energy independent. And we will be supporting all of uh, the startups, incubate, uh, incubators, and young minds for the DRL one to TRL eight by right giving passes at different levels and creating the ecosystem and supporting through the partners like AI. So uh, one line that we want to say is together we can, together we can, together we can build the Atma Nirbhar Bharat with the mobility part. With the, uh, not only as automotive from but from road, air, rail, water, for each one together integrated smart set sustainable mobility case from concept to manufacturing with all fields which are associated with it. So it is not only automotive and mobility, it will also have fields, it will have data analytics, it will have industry 4.0, AI, machine learning, electronics, control systems, materials, nanomaterials, battery. So all those players would have the integrated solutions which are required, required and which will be covered under this promotional and support activity as such. Basically, it will be having different uh, features which are which are well known to uh, everyone. But importance could be uh, we will have the experts connect beyond the area. We have a technology discussion forum. We will have a consortium that, that can be built uh, here. So we can have people from different domain, cross domain, cross sectoral people can talk to each other. Uh, then we have resource sharing, which is very important. Like uh, many startups do not have the tools and uh, facility supports which will be provided here. And there will be update on technology walls and webinars uh, and training sessions. So uh, with this, what we are offering to startups here is industry connect. Industry connects how much possibility of commercialization, uh, connecting for the B2B uh, innovations, uh, then the collaboration opportunities, access to nationwide events, meta reach to the uh, discussion forums, mentoring technical guidance, which we have been committed to. And uh, this is how we would be covering uh, connects for AI and through technophers by ARAI for synergizing technology and innovation uh, with a strong belief that technologies are global, but the solutions are local. And together we can, and for which, we have been giving a dedicated mail in uh, mail box, which is called AIM at Technovus, T E C H N O V U U S dot A R I India dot com. And we're requesting all your, uh, all your startups and incubators to connect with us at the first phase for 15 February uh, as an argument by looking at it, what we are up to. Are we scaled up? We can re uh, recalibrate and re look into. Uh, the support systems further and we request you all to connect to Technovers, register to Technovers and uh, connect with us uh, from AIM at technovers.ir.com. Thank you so much. Uh, indeed, thank you so much uh, for that very, very comprehensive uh, presentation about the collaboration and how we will be uh, moving forward. Uh, indeed, uh, the presentation is um, you know, covering all aspects uh, from supporting ideas and challenges to going all the way into helping startups develop the product uh, to be able to test them, uh, to be able to certify them, uh, to be able to quality assure, as well as uh, uh, how we can link them up to the market using the portals and um, connectivity that you have uh, given. And I think the framework that you described just now uh, in terms of the case framework, connected and uh, smart, uh, safe, uh, environmental friendly as well as affordable uh, communications and mobility systems is what we are looking at. At the same time, we are also focused on energy independence, which is becoming a very important factor when we look at uh, how can we uh, use it.
this is gone. Sorry, uh, Ramanan sir seems to be facing some technical issue, uh, but I thank all the panelists, uh, especially Director ARAI, Mr. Rajamathai and his team, and also for AIM team for joining us. Uh, thank you and Happy New Year again, and hope to see you again next year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy, Happy New Year, year to you all. Year to all. Thank you.